Blessings, dear one. Unto him indeed be all the glory. Hallelujah. Gonna make a little video here. Let me turn that off so we won't be distracted. On prayer. Because someone asked me yesterday, how do you pray? And uh, I'm going to give you a short example, a deep teaching in just a few minutes. Even though I'm not a teacher, I can sure recount, uh, recount to you what I have done in my life. And so let's go back and look at Jesus when he was tempted for 40 days and 40 nights. And he was um, tempted of the devil. The first thing it says here on this page is in Ma out of Matthew 4, 3 and 4. And the tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones become bread. But he answered him and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So there you have your, quip, your scripture um, right there at the bottom where he was quoting from. And let's go to safety in Matthew 4, 6, and 7. And he said unto him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands will they bear you up, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus said to him, On the other hand, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. That was the second one. And then we have worship. Let's look. Sorry. Got to adjust my screen here a little bit. Um, and he said unto him, all things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. And Jesus said unto him, go Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And there's the scripture that uh, the Lord um, quoted out of Deuteronomy again. So what I did is I went to class and I also bought books on fasting and prayer. And I got this scripture down in my spirit right here out of Revelation 12, 11. And you need to also, if you're going to fight and overcome Satan, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. So let's go ahead and look at this. Just key into that, then key into the scripture that you're looking at right there. It's outlined. And then let's look at that word overcome, because I want you to see how powerful that word is. It's more powerful than just overcome and truly means a lot more in Spanish. Um, so let's look at it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry, that's to the death. I've been undergoing a lot of... Um, I went to the, I've had medical procedures. That's why I'm a little bit, you know, not exactly as proficient as usual. Okay. So it means to overcome, to conquer, to prevail, to get the victory, uh, to come off victorious. Victory of Christ, vic victor over all his foes, which is what you can be too. One who is arraigned and goes to law to win the case and maintains one's cause. I've never lost a case. Christians that hold fast to their faith, even unto death, against the powers of their foes and temptations and persecutions. Uh, on and on. It says to carry off the victor, come off victorious uh, over all your foes, conquered now that he has the right and the power to uh, open, etc. Christians hold fast to the faith, even unto death, if necessary, against the power of their foes, their temptations and persecution. Sorry, my page is crooked there. Um, so I think I've made it a little bit clear here. Uh, it means to mightily overcome. So this is how I pray and use that scripture. Let's go first to Ephesians. And I'm going to start a prayer for you here that I like to pray uh, early on. I would go to Ephesians and I would pray this. I pray. This, and put your name in there. Or put yourself in there. I pray that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend along with all, along all this, might be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, what is the length, and what is the depth and the height. And to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge. That you may be able to be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly, above all that we could ask or think, according to the power that works within us, unto him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages and world without end. In the name of Yeshua, by the blood of Jesus Christ, that's right, by the blood of Jesus Christ, 
I take authority over every principality, over every power, over every wicked work of darkness that might be interfering in the lives of my brothers and sisters listening today. And I take authority over you, Satan, by the blood of the lamb. And I command you to get out, to get out. We will walk upon serpents and upon scorpions and over all the power of the adversary and nothing shall by any means harm us. This is how you pray. And that's what this video is about. How do we pray? No one says in the name of Jesus Christ that this walk would be easy. As a matter of fact, like you heard me say in the beginning, which wasn't my plan, pressure may have said at the beginning because I've done the, this is my third take. Uh, I am under a lot of pressure. I just had some medical procedures and I would appreciate your prayers. Uh, pressure is glory. This is how we get to heaven. So if you're going through pressure, blessed are you for the glory of the Lord is upon you. May God be with you. May he bless you. May his shalom cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. Much love. I love you all. Shalom.